Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for January 6 through to January 10. A significant coronal hole formation rotating through the earth facing position after January 5th represent a potential of a 6.9 magnitude earthquake for this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE where we see solar wind speeds are declining steadily and current levels of 360 kilometers a second. Now we may see a sharp increase in solar wind speeds due to the arrival of a coronal mass ejection on the Earth's magnetic field sometime late January 5th, which may coincide with a seismic shock or a powerful earthquake. We're now looking at a split screen of seeds and cactus of the full halo coronal mass ejection released from the solar corona back on January the 2nd. Now this is a powerful event with a lot of mass associated and I'm expecting components to impact the Earth's magnetic field late January 5th, which may coincide with a geomagnetic storm or a significant seismic shock. We're now looking at the SDO composite and focusing on this prominent feature on the solar corona, which is a powerful coronal hole formation. Now this is classified as a trans-equatorial coronal hole, and it does cover a large region, but I'm focusing on the regions just in and around the equator, around five degrees north and five degrees south latitude as a main area of concern for this watch. We're now looking at the solar terrestrial activity report by Solon.info where we see an animated view of coronal hole formations on the solar corona. Now we do have a strong feature, CH491, rotating into the earth facing position in around January 5th. So the solar wind stream from this coronal hole formation should be geo effective and produce one or two significant earthquakes from January 6 to January 9 timeframe. I'm now going to plot a map of regional field will be most at risk for this significant earthquake based on solar symmetry as best mapped to the Earth and there is a strong lunar modulation indicating the Atlantic Ridge may be the area of focus for this watch or more specifically the central mid-Atlantic Ridge or the regions north of the Ascension Islands. This will be my number one area of focus for this watch. Central America will be my second area of concern for this possible 6.9 magnitude earthquake or more specifically the regions of Ecuador or Peru. And my third and final area of concern is for the opposite end of the globe in Indonesia or more specifically the Celebes Sea or the Banda Sea. We're now looking at an interesting region for the southern hemisphere. Now this is associated with a magnetic field of active region 11389 and we do see a small coronal hole feature opening up deep down at high latitudes. Now I feel it may produce some events around 5.3 in magnitude for the southern hemisphere during this watch. We're now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor and focusing on the southern hemisphere. Now we do have a very faint region deep down which is of note. Now I'm expecting at least a 5.3 to 5.5 magnitude earthquake in and around the regions of 43 to 45 degrees south latitude. My main concern for the southern hemisphere is a possible volcanic eruption in the Sierra Hudson in southern Chile or possible seismic events in and around this region in and around Ace in Chile. And my second and final area of concern is for the South Island of New Zealand or more specifically Christchurch or adjacent in the Pegasus Bay region. Now it is important to note that my last earthquake watch, the coronal hole formation CH490, failed to produce anything of significance and this may be due to the speed of the solar winds remaining at a high level or not normalizing. So we may see receive these events in the coming days and those regions of focus will be the Kamatic Islands region, south of Tonga or also the region of south of Fiji. Now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly, this is showing parts of the globe that may be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures. And the main reading showing up for this week are for the regions in and around the Canary Islands, off the coast of Oregon, the Bay of Bengal, and also Iceland. And we also have a strong reading in the Kamatic Islands. These are the main areas of focus in terms of outgoing long wave radiation anomalies. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for the 4th of January, 2012. I will attach my planetary alignment video, which falls for January 6 and 7, in a description box and also as a video response. And for more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.